But right now, the Atlanta Police Department is asking for the public's help tracking down this pair of men. So take a look at your screen here. Police say they broke into several storage units and stole thousands of dollars worth of property. Video shows them loading up those stolen goods into a black BMW SUV. Tonight, one of the victims is turning to us here at 11 Alive, not only upset about his unit being hit, but now questioning the security measures at the facility. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn live tonight from the extra space storage on Bishop Street. That's right behind Atlantic Station. Cody, typically these facilities require a, a code or a fob of some sort to get inside, right? That's right, Jennifer, or at least they are supposed to. But you can see behind me tonight, the doors are shut. But that was not the case when we showed up here earlier. The doors were wide open, which you'll see in a moment. And anyone could have walked into this facility off the streets. This is affecting my business. I worked hard. This is affecting my business. Adam Horn, better known as DJ Black Magic. I'm an ATL native. A celebrity DJ. I've been doing it for over 15 years. Yes, sir. Until he showed up to his storage unit earlier this month. I had an event to do for the Grove Park Foundation. A quick stop to pick up his DJ equipment turned into a nightmare. It wasn't my luck. And things were about to get worse. I went to the front desk. Um, what was that conversation? That conversation was just... Oh, we just noticed there wasn't a lock on there. We put it on there. But I said, if you guys put the lock on there, why wasn't I notified? When he opened his unit, it was ransacked. His equipment gone. Man, the equipment is expensive. Like one turntable costs about $2,000. Um, the speakers are about $2,000 as well. A facility claiming on its website, we offer secure, clean properties and simple, helpful service. If you look on both sides, both doors are open right now. That's not security. He believes the thieves were able to walk right into extra space storage, where APD says the duo used a power drill to break into several units. Everything that I own the value was taken from this property, and no one's trying to be responsible for anything. And I will say these doors were not closed until they noticed us outside across the street filming. That's when an employee walked in and shut these doors. Now, I did call this facility. They told me to call somebody else as of tonight. My calls have not been returned. Now, Adam Horn, who you just heard from, believes that because these doors are open so much, he believes some of the negligence falls back on this facility. In Atlanta, Cody Alcorn, 11 Alive News. Yeah, Cody, a frustrating and, and helpless feeling situation. Uh, the story, though, is a great reminder to make sure that you have a renter's insurance. If this happens to you, make sure that you document everything by taking pictures. And while it may not cover the total value of your loss, you will at least be able to get something back so you're not left with nothing. Man, that's